and I get it all the time. EVs are catching on fire, they're exploding, people are dying. I can just go on the internet and find, there's lots of pictures of cars on fire. So I started doing a little research. I was curious how many people die annually in EV car fires. Hi, this is David with EV World News, where we talk about electric vehicles, green energy, and the stock markets. I'm here in studio with our founder and chief editor, Bill Moore. How's it going, Bill? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. All right. So before we started the show today, Bill and I were chatting about this issue with EV fires. And I get it all the time. EVs are catching on fire. They're exploding. People are dying. Not, by the way, parking garages and HOAs now are starting to ban EVs because they'll catch fire. Yeah, and these people have no clue. So I, I started doing some research because I was really curious. It's like, well, you know, how many? And Because I'd had somebody post these pictures of BYDs on fire in China. So I sent them back a picture of Fords on fire in the United States. I mean, I, I can find, I can just go on the internet and find, there's lots of pictures of cars on fire because it, worldwide, based on the number of cars on the road, and type of EV or ICE, your chances are 60 times higher to have your gas car catch on fire than an EV. So this one was really getting to me. And then last night I'm driving home and there was a car on fire on the side of the interstate. And it was a gas car, uh, of course, but it, it just made me think about this even more because of the fact of you know how that keeps playing. So I started doing a little research. I was curious how many people die annually in EV car fires. We are not counting EV bikes. Okay, there's a difference between an EV bicycle and an EV car by a big margin, okay? And there have been problems. We admit, we know that there are problems with cheap Chinese EV bicycles. I warned my neighbor who came up and she has just bought her son a bike. She's going to buy her other son an e-bike and she bought herself an e-bike and they were looking for advice to just make sure that you get good quality batteries or you get a U.S produced and known you know known source of uh, a bike so yes we admit that there have been issues with e-bike batteries cars not so much in the united states last year there were zero deaths from ev fires okay in the united states in gas powered cars there from just the fires there was 560 deaths in the united states alone that that's the average for the last 10 years okay it's 560. Worldwide, there were four EV deaths, the whole planet, okay? If you just simply took the population of the United States and multiplied it by 20, you would have had at least 10,000 gas-powered car deaths from fires. That 560 in the United States represents more than are murdered with long guns, with rifles, shotguns, the deadly AR-15s, everything like that. I mean, it's a serious problem, but how many people worry about it? Your chances of dying in a gas-powered car are less than being struck by lightning, okay? In fact, that could be what started some of the fires. Who knows? <laughs> I did see where 20% of all gas car fires were from arson. That, that didn't mean the ones where the people died, but of just ones in general. And I've seen pictures of Teslas where people, it was obvious somebody had poured gasoline on the car and set it on fire because the type of fire that was burning, it was not coming from the battery underneath. How many of those were people who were underwater and their payments and valued the car just decided to, oh, it caught fire. Of course, they said it themselves. So that happened. Well, the, the good thing about that is then you uh, hopefully it would burn up the odometer. People wouldn't be able to check to see how many miles they had on it for the insurance payout, right? But anyways, so I, I did, just thought it was fascinating because I get so tired of reading these things about all the people supposedly dying in EV fires. And it's, you know, it's an effort by the oil companies to uh, to make, you know, they see the handwriting on the wall. They know where the, where this is all going eventually, right? If you have a long-term horizon, not just 2030, but you're looking beyond that, you see that they're, you know, that, that, that that's going to be an issue. And uh, so they're doing everything they can to, you know, put out all kinds of information and disinformation. Uh, about the technology. Are there problems? My God, yes, there is with every kind of technology that there is. You know, milkmaid back in the 1700s got kicked by their cows, right? I mean, this, this, this is going to happen, so. 
Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.